Yeah, yeah whatever. I feel like you're in the in the zone. So sometimes it takes a couple songs for people to get in the zone. Yeah. When I see you in the zone, I'm going live. All right, beautiful. That'd be cool. I'm in. Me too. You seem a little different though, Alex. Still. Yeah. Uh, little little. Why not try? Grandma's Attic Music Review. First of all, I just want to say you're not going to see Jabez today. He's out not feeling well, so keep him in your thoughts. Send positive energy to my little assistant. Um, he'll be fine, but just, yeah. So I love to bring you great music. It's what I do. It's fun. It's exciting. And it exposes you guys to music that you wouldn't normally get to see, especially in COVID times, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's going out. Nobody's getting to play out. And if they are, people are social distancing. So whatever. Do what we have to do to get rid of this thing, right? But we're doing music in the studio live for you guys. We bring you the best that we can find. A few weeks ago, we were down at the Hygienic Art Park for an event called Don't Pass the Guitar. It was an event to raise money for the Homeless Hospitality Center. If you did not get to donate and you want to, you still can just go to homelesshospitalitycenter.org. But that's not why we're here right now. I thought I knew all the musicians in the area. Obviously I don't because I find new ones all the time. But we were sitting there and we were listening to music and everybody that went up on stage I knew and had some kind of a history with and then all of a sudden this guy gets up there and he kills it. He kills it. He's playing and he's, he's playing musical kick ass. He was just really, he was killing it. And I was like, who's that? I said to the guy sitting next to me, who's that? Oh, that's Patrick. Don't you know him? I'm like, no, but I'm gonna. So when he came off the stage, I ran up to him and I said, I know you don't know who I am, but I do a TV show and would you please come be on it? And he was so, so gracious to say yes. He does a lot of other things. We're going to talk about what he does besides music. He's extremely talented and um, bright and engaging and I think you're going to love him. Please help me welcome into your homes and into your hearts, Patrick Kirker. Hello, everybody. Dot, thank you very much for the very warm welcome. Uh, that means the world. So it's uh, looking forward to hope everyone's staying safe and healthy during these crazy times. And uh, looking forward to playing some songs for you. Says to me, says you gotta sit down Cause I can't see while up on the gypsy feet Thoughts run wild, this can't be Hold on, so much wrong That big man's got his mind is on Right like he will see That there ain't nothing wrong with living Free and those bright skies Good times calling out Hear my first steps gone Keep the devil down 
hear those rat skies, good times calling out. Hear my first steps, gonna keep the devil, yeah, 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 down. Stands next to me, says there's a whole lot that you can't see. Well, up on your gypsy feet, come on down, hang with me. How darn so much wrong that big man's got his blinders on. Bright light, he will see that there ain't nothing wrong with living. Free in those bright skies, good times calling out. Hear my first steps, gonna keep the devil down. Hear those bright skies, good times calling out. Yeah, my first step's gonna keep the devil, yeah, 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 down. Big really love, oh, big love, big love, walk with me. Big really love, oh, big love, big love, walk with me. there <laughs> once again thank you very much everybody it is amazing to be here and especially knowing that so many other amazing musicians have played here too so it's an honor I'm just uh, gonna try my do my best so uh, here's a new one uh, I started actually writing about six years ago uh, and recently finished over the spring uh, that I played down at the hygienic too um, it's a little bit of a hopeful song and uh, look forward to uh, playing it again. This is called Anybody With Me. Hey, now I'm looking for some healing up on your show. Right now I'm feeling and believing Need a little more So that's right, let's get together I'll come your way So let's start, never say never to A different way Anybody with me? Or am I alone tonight? Yeah, anybody with me? Cause I just want to feel alright Hard times never can be easy like a rolling stone But with you make me believe cause I'm short on hope So let's start letting a little something your electric light And goddamn to let the crazy get your love inside Anybody with me? Or am I alone tonight? Yeah, anybody with me? Cause I just want to feel alright And I just want to feel alright And I want to bring the ocean to you A glass of wine and a couple tunes too Do you think we'll ever feel the spring? Damn right we whisper sing Anybody with me? Or am I alone tonight? Yeah, anybody with me? Cause I just wanna feel alright. And I just wanna feel alright. 
They can't get your love inside Don't let them take your love inside Don't let them take your love inside They can't get your love inside Anybody with me? Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo. So once again, hope everyone is uh, staying safe out there. Everyone is healthy. Uh, this next song, um, and it's actually kind of neat. Uh, one of my best friends, uh, Zip, actually wrote this uh, many moons ago. He was down in North Carolina. And he um, wrote this the day Jerry Garcia died. Uh, when he heard the news, it was heartbreaking, as it was for all of us. And he was sitting on the beach, and uh, he was able to acquire pen and paper and started writing down right there. And uh, when he got back up from North Carolina, he was showing us the song. And, um, and somehow it made it into one of my drawers. And, uh, and it sat there for years. And, and I discovered it years later, totally forgot about it. And, um, and, I, and I just love the words, and I was like, I got to put music to this. And um, so this is my buddy Zip's song. Um, lyrics are completely unchanged, um, and it's called North Carolina, um, you know, and uh, keeping uh, Jerry Garcia in mind. In the depths of summer, I lost my mind Trying to figure out my last in line Wondering where I'm going and escaping from the grind I ended up in a place that I thought I'd never find In North Carolina, we can watch the waves come in and Listen to the new sound of the children in the sand Now you must know that there shouldn't be a fear as long as there's North Carolina, you can wipe away them tears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then one morning we got some heartbreak. While sipping on the booze And I decided then to become a man Amongst all these fools In North Carolina we can dance with the bears Grateful to the legend who got his soul here Now you must know that there shouldn't be any fear Long as there's North Carolina you can wipe away them tears Yeah, yeah, yeah Thank you kindly once again. It was uh, it was funny. I, I was telling um, I, I was telling Dot and Mike uh, my guitar started becoming uh, a little uh, temperamental last night, and out of all the nights to start developing a buzz, it 
figures it's the night before I play Grandma's Attic. So uh, my apologies uh, to the sound guys and everyone out there with very good ears for the, for the buzzing. So, um, all right, uh, next song. Uh, you know, I have the very good fortune in my life uh, to know a lot of amazing women that are amazing moms. And uh, you know, when you think about what moms are doing, uh, you know, they're saving the world every single day uh, through the efforts of raising their children. And uh, especially in today's crazy times, you know, moms are now asked to be teachers at home and just to do so much more than the amazing things they already do. Um, so I, I know this one mom in particular, and her daughter uh, once felt that uh, her mom saved the moon. And uh, so it, it was a moment I had to write a song about. So um, this song is dedicated to all the mothers out there um, that are not only saving the moon every day, uh, but saving the world every day. Um, so this is called Mama Save the Moon. You're like a treasure chest of amazingness On the starry skies The smile is wide and heaven's got the room My shooting stars in bloom Because Mama's gonna save Mama's gonna and save the moon Wherever you are here or near or far I'll be holding you tight I'm gonna save some lunar light tonight Yeah, 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 yeah Mama's gonna save Mama's gonna and save the moon Mama's gonna save the moon Just you and me, oh, oh Moonlight dancing And heaven is free when we're moonlight dancing we we'll walk by the sea Because the stars will be out soon And heaven is free Because mom's gonna save the moon You're like a treasure chest of amazingness None the starry skies Your smile is wide and heaven's got the room Shooting stars in bloom because Mama's gonna save. Mama's gonna save the moon. Mama's gonna save the moon. Mama's gonna save. Oh, 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 oh. Mama's gonna save. Oh, 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 oh. Mama's gonna save. Mama's gonna save, oh, 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 oh. Mama's gonna save the moon. Ah, thank you once again to all the amazing moms out there. All right. Um, 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 here's a little song. Um, you know, one of the things. Um, with playing, I really miss playing with all my bandmates. Um, you know, I'm hearing all the fills in my head and all the magical stuff that they're doing. And, um, you know, it's, uh, I truly miss my band family. I'm getting a little choked up here. Ah, mm. And, um, but yeah, this is one of the songs, you know, one of the things I love about writing music with these guys is when, you know, presenting an idea to them, you know, they'll take an idea that's here and bring it all the way up to here. And this is one of my favorites playing with them, and it's called um, Let's Whisper. Let's whisper, yeah, as the sunrise smiles on our bed. Just wanna tell you, yeah, that my heartbeat shares your whole breath. Oh, let's whisper, yeah, 
No more words left unsaid Just wanna hold you Yeah And put these lonely arms to rest And I've been waiting far too long For someone like you to come along And as I hold you close to me There's nothing I want more than a dance along the ocean shores at sunset Just you and me Can you feel what could be? So let's whisper Let's whisper So let's whisper Yeah As the angels dance overhead Celebrating sweet prayers, yeah. Your kiss so fine, it's heaven sent. So let's whisper, yeah. No more words left unsaid. Can you feel my smile grow? Yeah, cause the whole world's gonna be alright. And I've been waiting far too long for someone like you. Come me long and as I hold you close to me There's nothing I want more than a dead slow me ocean shores at sunset Just you and me Can you feel what could be? So let's whisper Let's whisper, yeah. let's whisper, so let's whisper. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. <clears throat> it feels good to be uh, working off uh, the cobwebs here, the... Uh, the nerves are finally starting to settle a little bit. All right. Here's another one I wrote about five years ago back home and looking at the mighty Pawtuck River. Another day, another night of waiting by the phone. Walk around this crowded town, not knowing the inside joke. People say, hold on tight, and I fight through my grin and curls. Bill Rody says one way, and the whistle stop song begins. Conduct says, all aboard the lonely train, just bring your shoes. Next stop, it ain't for miles, and there's an empty seat or two. Conduct says, all aboard the lonely train, just bring your shoes. Next stop it ain't for miles, can I sit down next to you? Oh, it's so much going by And hand people don't seem to mind Well, I'm just waiting on a love that's true So can I sit down next to you? I'm just trying to get it right I've only got one song Here in Grandma's attic the lines are getting long People say we sound real nice And I fight through my grin Cause real road is says one way And the whistle stop song begins Conduct says all aboard the lonely train Just bring your shoes Next stop it ain't for miles And there's an empty seat or two Conduct says all aboard the lonely train Just bring your shoes Next stop it ain't for my house Gonna sit down next to you so much going by Hand in hand people don't seem to mind Well I'm just waiting on a love that's true So can I sit down next to you Conduct says, all aboard the lonely train Just bring your shoes 
Next stop is Mars, and there's an empty seat or two. Conductor says, pull the board along the train, just swing your shoes. Next stop is my house, gonna sit down next to you. Conductor says, pull the board along the train, just swing your shoes. Next stop is Mars, and there's an empty seat or two. Conductor says, pull the board along the train, just swing your shoes. Next stop in for Mars, can I sit down? Oh, can I sit down next to you? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, th this one is, uh, we usually play this one out quite a bit, and, um, and I I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't know the count. Uh, let's see, 30, 60, 64, I'm thinking maybe 84 more days to St. Patrick's Day, something like that. I could be a little off, Tom Foley, you'll have to correct me. Uh, but anyways, here's a St. Patty's Day song that I wrote. Um, this is called the Malleus Chorus. So here we are tonight in this very good part indeed. The party's just the start in the pint support and free. Good old Maddie's playing a tune that we all know. And up comes the cheer in the battle we must go. Oh, the angels sing what pints they bring. Tonight's a holiday. Good old Maddie leads the charge. Come to hear them play. And as we are now dancing through the air, we raise our hands to toast and cheer all those here, the finest in the land. Hey! Fillers are all hoping tonight they'll get some love. And good O'Malley tunes will be the help from above. The women they all laugh cause they secretly understand. The only man who get their knickers, the one man paying back. Oh, the angels sing what pints they bring. Tonight's a holiday. Good O'Malley's the charge, come to hear them play. And as we are now dancing to the air, we raise our hands to toast and cheer all this here, the finest in the land. Hey. Midnight's fast approaching and we've only just begun O'Malley hasn't stopped so the strength another one And when we hear them play the song with the Irish beat We clap out loud, curse the loud, curse in the work day week Oh the angels sing what place they bring, tonight's a holiday Lord O'Malley leads the charge, come to hear them play And as we are to dancing through the air we raise our hands To toast and cheer all those here, the finest in the land hey. The angels sing what pints they bring, tonight's a holiday. Good old man leads the charge, come to hear them play. And as we are now dancing to the air, we raise our hands to toast and cheer all those here, the finest in the land. <laughs> Happy early St. Patty's Day to you lads and lasses. Okay. Uh, this one's called uh, Let My Baby Go. Will you ever hear the story the devil came to town? Thought it was tough, but mama took him down. What's up, love showed up and said, how are you, your brothers? Right then, everybody knew something going on, funk the truth. Fired up, love stood up, said, Hallelujah, brothers. And I hear the people say, Oh, Hallelujah, brothers. And I hear the people say, Oh, Hallelujah, brothers. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. Then let my baby, let my baby, then let my baby go. That's right. 
Well, you ever hear the story the devil came to town? Thought he was tough, but mama took him down. What's up? Love showed up, said hallelujah, brothers. Right then the devil knew he couldn't be loving mama too. Fired up, we all stood up and said hallelujah, brothers. And I hear the people say oh hallelujah, brothers. And I hear the people say oh hallelujah, brothers. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. You better let my baby, let my baby, better let my baby go. And it's a parade. Mom and love are coming to town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's a parade. Hear the love, feel the sound. And I hear the people say, they let my baby, let my baby, let my baby go. You can let my baby, let my baby, let my baby go. You can let my baby, let my baby, let my baby go. You can let my baby, let my baby, let my baby go. So Patrick, why don't you play us one more song and then come and sit and we'll get to know each other a little better. Sounds good. Sounds good. <coughs> All right. Uh, one more. Whew. All right. Um, uh, this next one's actually a true, uh, true story and um, uh, happened to a, a good friend of mine and um, read about it in the papers, and it, it was about someone standing up uh, to something scary, a very scary situation, and um, he prevailed. And um, yeah, it was just one of those moments, you know, you read and hear something like that, and you're just kind of like, oh, man, that deserves a song. So um, this one's called Prevailed. man who rode the electric horse told me of his tale about a fight his girlfriend's son he said how the sun fell oh how the sun fell the tale of great courage while all alone too standing up to monsters and the evil that men do the evil that men When he stood all alone without a single friend, he said, Go to hell, I don't care how this thing ends. And he took him three against the wind as a judgment came about. And they would have prayed if they knew they called the wrong man out. The man who rode the electric horse and told me of this tale. Vow to fight his girlfriend's son was in how the sun prevailed. Oh, how the sun fell And the wind went cold as the bullies foretold All the things that they do Sun so strong with fists very strong The showdown at high knew The showdown at high knew When he stood all alone without a single friend He said, go to hell, I don't care how this thing ends And he took the three against the wind as the judgment came about And they would have prayed if they knew they called the wrong man out When he stood all alone without a single friend He said, go to hell, I don't care how this thing ends and he took in three against the wind as the judgment came about and they would have prayed if they knew that they called the wrong man out thank you everybody thank you so while patrick is uh coming over here and getting mic'd up hi while he's coming over here and getting mic'd up let me remind you about some things that are really important to me. First of all, you know what this is? It's called a mask. We all have to wear them. Do it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Also, we're in the holiday season. Shop local. Local merchants, local artists, local musicians, local galleries, 
Let's do it. Art equals giving is at the hygienic. Check it out. It's all very well priced gifts that you can purchase from local artists to give for the holidays. Please support local art, support local merchants. There's a local merchant that I want to talk about though that I've never mentioned before, but I think he's worth mentioning because right now it would be really awesome if you would support Fisher Florist. This is a multi-generational store that's been in our community forever. This is the last generation of Fisher Florist. George has been there. He learned from his dad, who learned from his dad. They've been supplying flowers to our community for decades. And um, you know what? Support local florists. He's our he is our local florist. So we have Thames Greenery too. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be remiss. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Thames Greenery. But you know what? Support local businesses. Let's go down to downtown and tell the merchants that we love them, that we want them to stay open, and they need us right now. It's really important, really important. So support local businesses and local art galleries and local artists and local musicians. And speaking of local musicians, let's talk to Patrick. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, so much to talk about. So first, let's talk about your band. What do you do? Who's your band? And when do you guys get together? And when are you all going to play together again? Yeah, that's the, that's the ultimate question. Um, right. So our full band, we go by the name of Confined. Um, it's uh, made of very, very good friends. So it's my very good friend that I've grown up, Craig Sanquidoci. Uh He's on harmonica, other vocals, and he plays every instrument other than his son. Nice. Uh, my very good friend, Tom Foley, on lead. He also I know owns... Tom Foley. Yeah, so Tom Foley, another brother of mine. He has his school, the band room back in Westerly. And... Tom's great, and Tom and I also play in a duo called the Midnight Irish. Oh, nice. And, um, well, you guys can come back and, and do that. Oh, that would be Maybe a, in March. We're, hey, that'd be great. That'd be that'd a blast. That'd be fun, right? Um, we're in. We'll do that. Um, our bassist, uh, Jan the Man Stein, out of New Fairfield. He's amazing, and I give all the credit to Jan because he'll drive down to New Fairfield to this neck of the woods for gigs. And uh, we had a good fortune to start off with our drummer, Rob Taylor, uh, who unfortunately had to move to Florida for health reasons oh, no. uh, with his lungs about five years ago or so. And, uh, but now we're very blessed to have a very good friend of mine, uh, Big Tony Alicio, uh, on drums. So we, uh, we play at the Steak Loft. We've been at the Steak Loft probably for about 10 years now. When do you play the Steak Loft? Uh, it was funny. Our last, the last time we were supposed to play was St. Paddy's Day. And we've been playing St. Paddy's Day. And it was the day before when the state went into shutdown. Oh no. And um, so as of right now, I was just there the other week and uh, it, it, it was heartbreaking to see that empty stage. And and uh, I was talking to the people that worked there and they were just like, hey, hopefully we can have you back for St. Paddy's Day if things are safe. And, um, but no, very blessed to be able to play with um, amazing musicians. They're amazing friends, whether in Confined or as a duo with Midnight Irish. And, uh, and it's just fun, you know, it's just it, a blast. And, you know, I, I was laughing up there because, you know, I made a gazillion mistakes going through. And, you know, the great part about playing with these guys is that when we make a mistake on stage, everybody you know, keeps going, everyone keeps going, but everyone's busting your chops on the side. You know, it, it, we, we just laugh and have a blast. So uh, I didn't um, see w not one mistake, <laughs> not one. Well, well, thank you. You're very <laughs> kind. <laughs> and, you know, you played a song that you were kind of making apologies for it, but um, one of the most popular songs on the Grandma's Attic uh, music review is the tune-up song. Really? Everybody, everybody plays it. Everybody tunes the instrument in the middle of their set. <laughs> everybody. So never make apologies for making us making yourself sound good. So you also do some other things. You are an incredible photographer. Thank you. Thank you. So where can people find your photography yeah we um you know uh, i've had the very good fortune to grow up in the area and near the water and the oceans is one of my biggest passions mine you know, too along with, with and you know in it, every time you go no matter whether it's the same spot on the beach you know it's always different and uh You're i right. fell in love with photography um actually when i was a little kid more so photographing the ocean and um, through the help of my best friend, we started a company called Ocean Vine, uh, and it can be found at www.oceanvine.com. 
and a uh, percentage of all our proceeds go to support NEST, the New England Science and Sailing Foundation. And you know, the thing that I just love about photographing the ocean, it's just that you're just never gonna know. You just never know what you're gonna right. see. Right. And um, a lot of times I'll set my camera on like a, a very high shutter speed. Uh, so I know what I wanna get and I'll be, you know, so just firing away. You'll be like six to 800 picks, but when you start going through them, they're you all just, different. You just need that one that hits you and you're like, there it is, there it is, that's what I was hoping to get. And, uh, but you know, you know, the, the ocean, is, it's our most valuable resource. It needs to be protected. Uh, we gotta start cleaning it up more. And what we're hoping to do with Ocean Vine, uh, we're only a little over a year old, is start organizing beach cleanups, uh, all kind of things where the website not only is for um, photography sales, but also comes a community-based website that can organize beach cleanups up and down the East Coast. Nice. Um, so we, we sell apparel too, hats and hoodies and stuff like that. But eventually we would love to go beyond that uh, and just be uh, eventually a key player in helping to preserve and protect our oceans. As we all should. If we yeah. all just did this much, then this much would happen. Exactly. It's so easy to walk the beach and pick up the garbage while you're walking. Yep. It's so easy to do that, and it's such a huge impact. So you're also a school teacher. Correct, yeah. Uh, so what do you teach? I've had the very good fortune to teach at NFA for the past 15 years. I teach nice. uh, ninth grade English, and it, oh my. It's, it, it's a blast. And obviously now, uh, things are hard, and but I give my students all the credit in the world. They're really being troopers through this. But you know, teaching, you know, teaching is just, you know, it's, it's a very interesting profession in that you can walk out of the classroom one day and feel like I just changed the world, and I'm like, this is great. And then you can walk out of the classroom the next day and feel about this big, and I'm right. just like, oh man, I stink at what I do. But I'm I've sure you don't, because you never stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But you know, uh, the great thing about teaching at NFA, um, I've been very fortunate to teach with amazing professionals, uh, individuals that are so dedicated to the craft and so dedicated to the students, and seeing what the school has done in these very, very hard times, it's just inspiring how everyone's pulled together. And if anything, just to give back to the community, and to the family, and to the students in need. So it's been very inspiring on that level. That's wonderful. I think that, um, I think that being a school teacher and being a musician kind of goes hand in hand. I know a lot of school teachers yeah. that are also musicians. I think of Terry Lachance. I don't know if you know her, but oh. she's, um, She's probably one of the most activist-minded people I've ever met, but she's also a school teacher. Yeah. And she sings songs that she writes that are, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. They're, they're like, fix it. Nice. <laughs> right? Nice. Right? So tell me about your songwriting. First of all, when did you start writing music? I, I was actually late to the game. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's funny. Uh, I always had a guitar growing up. And I would just look at it and I'd be like, yeah. And then, um, but I have all the patience in the world for a lot of things, but I just didn't have the patience to take the time to learn it. And uh, so high school went by, college went by, and I'd always be like, one of these days, one of these days, and I'd look over at the guitar. And it wasn't until after college when I really started falling in love with the live music experience mm -hmm. and going to see bands that I love and musicians that just were inspiring. And I remember thinking, that just seems like fun. And I have friends that played, so I slowly started learning, started taking lessons, and, um, and I had a very, once again, good fortune to take lessons from Thor Jensen down at Fretz. Oh, he's amazing. Yep, yeah, so. We uh, love Thor. We love Thor. And if I could just get him on my show. Yeah, it's. Oh uh, my gosh, he's so busy. Yeah, he is. And he is, uh, trying to get him on this show has been um, a dream of mine. It'll happen. It'll I'm happen. telling you. I'm it'll. telling you, it'll happen. <laughs> so it's, uh, but he taught you to play guitar. He gave me my first lessons. And uh, Thor, I'm still practicing if you're listening. And, uh, but yeah, but then, you know, after that, the really cool part was um, having very good friends that played music at the time. So they were very welcoming, very forgiving. And they're like, Pat, let's just create and create no matter what it sounds like. And that evolved to playing with my friends, uh, my buddy Kyler and his wife Rose at their house in Stonington. And... So, and then I remember the moment clearly, but um, so all that started growing and just, you know, late night rambles with friends and just no matter how ugly it sounded, it was a blast. But 
um, I had the very good fortune, man, I've been saying that a lot. Um, it, it was one night, uh, really enjoyed a special moment with someone uh, out in the rain in Mystic. And uh, I remember coming home and, you know, it's just one of those moments that you just, you know you're going to remember for, for forever. Yep. And, um, and I just wanted to articulate that, but I didn't know how. And I remember picking up the guitar at that night, and, and it was the first song I wrote, which was about that moment. And, uh, you know, we, we still play it to this day. And, um, and then, you know, there was just that nice cathartic aspect to it. And, you know, over the years, and feeling a little bit more comfortable and confident and getting a lot of guidance, you know, whether it's a matter of um, celebrating a moment or trying to um, exorcising some demons, so to speak, uh, getting some stuff out of the basement, if you will. Um, yeah, and the experience is really taking on um, something truly meaningful for me over the years. And, you know, being able to write with friends and make sounds with friends uh, that it's are meaningful a lot of fun, to them, right? too. Oh, it's, it's just a blast. Do your students know that you're a musician? They do. <laughs> and, you know, and the great part is they are such an honest audience. So over the past 15 years at NFA, it's, you know, if there's some that I'm working on or I'm not sure about, you know, I bring in the guitar and, you know, I'll play in front of them. And, you know, they'll be sitting there and you'll be going, no, Mr. Kirk, no. <laughs> and then, uh, but then if I get oh, the, no. you know, if I get the thumbs up, then I know I'm on to something. Right. And, um. Yeah, kids, so. kids can be real honest, especially that age. Exactly. The seventh, eighth, and ninth graders. Yep. There's no filter. Yeah, uh, none. <laughs> none. So it's a blast, you know, bringing music in. And not only that, but I, what I love doing is when we're in school, just playing music while they're working. So it could be Ella Fitzgerald, Dave Rubeck. You know, I know music that they probably haven't been exposed to. Exactly. And in trying to introduce them or introduce them to all these different types of sounds and vibrations right, that are right. just magical. Absolutely. What a great way to be a teacher, too. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful that you play music for you. And I see students all the time that, because I'm in, I'm in college, I'm, I'm like the oldest person in the school, but that's okay. That's okay, because I'm interacting with kids that are 18, 19, 20, 20, up to like 22, and they're trying to achieve the same goals that I'm trying to yeah. achieve. You know what I mean? And they're so fresh. Their introspection is so not, not jaded. Mine's jaded. Yeah. I'm, I'm an old, jaded person. <laughs> I'm an old, jaded person. I, I, I don't have a problem with saying that. I turned 60 like a few months ago. I was going to say 21. <laughs> thank you. But I turned 60 and I see life not through rose-colored glasses anymore. I see it through all the, all the fretters and, and, and bad things. Yeah. I see, that's what I see. But these kids, they don't see it like that. Yep. They see it fresh. They don't know about politics. Yeah. You know, they don't know about stuff. And I get to hear and learn from them. What about, what about writing music feeds your soul? What is it that makes your soul need music? Yeah, oh boy, you know, it, it, it works on so many different levels. You know, there will be nights where, you know, I'll be sitting down in my, you know, little homemade music studio and, you know, an idea comes to mind or a certain chord progression and it's just kind of like, oh, um, but other times, you know, it's something that, um, you know, my own insecurities, um, uh, my own faults and trying to, you know, or s simply say I'm sorry, you know, sometimes and trying to get that out through music. Uh, so for me, it's kind of like a diary, um, you know, and uh, when you get to play those songs in front of people or with people, you know, it's part of the healing experience. It's part of the celebratory experience. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. Um, so in a, it, just on a lot, a lot of different levels and just being creative. You know, it's kind of fun, and you know, even the old clunkers that you think, oh, I can never play this out, but you have tucked away in the treasure chest, so to speak. Right, and, right. And it's fun getting out those old clunkers, and you know, you know, you know, sending out those vibrations into the air, and um, and and it's and it's also fun, you know, to talk about the creative experience with fellow friends that are also musicians, um, like the Carleens. Uh, oh, love them. Very good friends of mine, and you know. Mine too listening to their words and their music, it, it just, I am floored 
every single time. And so it's nice to share with whiskey uh, with those ladies and Jim afterwards. And Jim is Jim is an amazingly talented human being. Yeah. So what he brings to that group with those amazingly talented women yep. is awesome. Now, try to get Jim to come in the studio. You see, we're talking about people that are refusing to come in the studio <laughs> because they're afraid of being on TV. Gotcha. Jim doesn't watch TV. <laughs> he doesn't. He'll yeah. tell you that. You so why would he want to be on it? You know, but it, they're awesome. Oh, they're, they're incredible amazing. music. And having whiskey with them, I can imagine. It's, uh, it would be a lot of fun. I, I, I actually, um, you know, in my mind, it's, it's like a clunker, but I actually wrote a, a song for him called Whiskey Drinking Girls. Uh, so I say hanging out, you know, with the girls at the Carlines and, uh, but yeah, you know, there's so much talent in this area. There really is. And we have such amazing, amazing musicians. You know, people talk about Austin, Texas and here and there. And I'm like, no, it's, it's like, New it, London it, it, County it's here. I'm telling you. And it's been like that since the eighties. The I think that people started paying attention to New London and the music here with the reducers. I don't know if you remember the reducers. Oh yeah, but, absolutely. But, Hugh um, and uh, Mickey. And, I yeah, mean, uh, Steve Kaika and um, Hugh Birdsall and um, um, <laughs> Peter Detmold and who else? Who am I? Tommy Trombley. There we go. We got all four of them. I was my brain was doing its sixty year old thing, but we love them guys, and they brought music recognition. Yeah. And it hasn't stopped. Yeah. It hasn't stopped. We've gone on and built up so many acts that have gone and played around the world. Yeah. Now, what about your band? When are they going to go and play uh, around the world? You know, it's, I mean, obviously that would always be the dream. And, uh, you know, everyone's busy with, you know, kids in life. And we're, we're, we're very content, you know, to, you know, to play locally when we can. But there ever was the opportunity, you know, to play um, over the pond, if you will. Across the pond. Across the pond. <laughs> that, would be, uh, that would be one for the books. Awesome. So we're going to bring your your um, Irish duo back in March. Okay. We'll book that later oh, yeah. on. And uh, that will be fun. And um, there are so many questions I still would like to ask you. But what happens all the time on this show is we run out of time. And in order for me to allow you to get one more song in, I have to ask you just one more, one more question. Sure. What can I ask you? Quick, quick, quick. If you could do anything to change the world, what would it be? Big question, small answer. Well, uh, I, I'd say if, if there's one thing that I could do to help change the world um, is to get people to realize that um, it's okay to love one another. It's okay to love the planet. It's okay to love what you do. It's okay to love yourself and just incorporate that notion of love and, you know, hopefully to get everyone, if everyone was able to look in the mirror and love what they see, I think the world would be a lot better place. And, and if we could love one another regardless of what we see, right. um, I, I think we'd be on a good path. What a great answer. Will you take us out with a song? I'd be, I'd be honored to. All right. Make sure you unhook. While he's unhooking and getting back over there to take us out with a song, let me remind you that... COVID is here. We need to do what we can to get rid of it. I love you all so very, very much. Please wear your masks. I have my mask. My mask says love on it. See? And I wear it. I wear other ones when I go to work too, but I wear my love mask a lot. Wear your mask. Socially distance. Enjoy the holidays. Love one another. As Patrick just told us, we all need to love one another. And I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Dot, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, it's been an honor to be here. And once again, hope the holidays treat everyone well. And uh, send a lot of big love out to you guys. And uh, speaking of love, this song I wrote for one of my best friends, a guy by the name of Kenny Miracle. And uh, even though he passed many years ago, uh, as always, this one's for Kenny. Once there was a sailor 
an old man of the sea who sang of love through harmonica and talked the philosophy had a cold drink in his right hand and a sweet smoke in his left a true friend here he always was a miracle i won't forget as you sail on to the sunset oh drinking your favorite beer let our love guide your sails as you depart from here raise the sails yeah raise Raise. Come on, can you raise your sails? There were many things I learned from him. A teacher he was at heart. A master of all the good ways, yeah. A bright light in the dark. And when he spoke of true love, a smile came to his eyes. For one who believes in miracles, truly makes you wise as you sail onto the sunset oh drinking your favorite beer let our love guide your sails as you depart from here raise the sails yeah raise raise come on can you raise your sails and when I got the sad news that the last pirate passed away, I thank God with tearful eyes that a miracle came my way. Now remember what he said when I'm home on the ocean. If I only had one life, it would definitely be this one. As you sail onto the sunset, Oh, drinking your favorite beer Let our love guide your sails As you depart from here Race the sails, yeah